हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हार्डनेस टेस्ट so let's start so before that uh, let us understand what is hardness so hardness is any property hardness is the property of any material that tells the resistance to abrasion or erosion so more is the hardness more is the hardness that means the material is more resistance to resistant to abrasion or corrosion so in all the hardness tests we have a hardness number we arrive at a particular hardness number and more is the hardness number that means the material is more hard so it is directly proportional and we have four types of hardness tests brinell wickers loop and rockwell generally most popular is brinell and rockwell first popular is brinell second most popular is rockwell so now let us understand each one in detail in all the tests we have a indenter indenter is any ball or conical structure on which we apply the force and the force or the shape of the indenter it gets transmitted to the material that has to be tested for hardness so suppose this is the material whose hardness number or hardness we have to find like then we bring the indenter so for example we are using brinell so we will be using a steel ball so this is the diameter 10 mm 10 mm steel ball or tungsten carbide ball we will be using so this ball and this will be applying a force so this indenter it will move in close contact with the material and it will form a depression so it will form a depression then we have different formulas for different tests so suppose consider first one brinell in brinell we will use 10 mm steel or tungsten carbide ball as the indenter and the diameter it is denoted by capital d so 10 mm is uh, capital d A small d is the diameter of the indentation that means after indentation happens after this deformation happens we will remove this ball and we will measure the diameter so from top view we will see a small indentation caused so that diameter will be small d all right so we have and we have a load load we use three types 500 kg 1500 kg and 500 kg the formula is 2p upon pi into capital d into d capital d under root d square minus small d square so the brinell hardness number is 2p upon pi into d then bracket capital d into under root complete under root capital d square minus small d square bracket close so this is the brinell hardness number where d is the diameter of the ball that is 10 mm small d is the diameter of the indentation so from top view after removing the indenter we will see we will we'll see a small circle circular deformation formed on the test material so we will measure the diameter that will be small d we will put everything in this formula p is the load that is 500 kg 1500 kg or 3000 as per your uh, test so generally we use 1500 kg we can use all three but we generally we use 1500 kg so we arrive at a particular number that is known as hardness number for brinell and we denote it by hb h means hardness number b means for brinell then next is wickers in wickers 
everything is same the procedure is same for all four we bring the indentation we bring the indenter we cause an indentation we measure after removal of indenter and so on so different loads are there and different formulas are there for hardness number and the, the shape and size of the indenter is also different in different tests so for wickers we have a diamond pyramid shape whose construction front view is like this having conical angle 136 degree and uh, top view is this so this is the length of the L is the length of the uh, uh, what we call it L is the length, length of the uh, hypotenuse and the load it varies from 1 kg to 120 kg we can apply in any format and uh, number is denoted by HV H means hardness number V means wickers so we write HV equal to 1.854 into P upon L square so L is the um, hypotenuse and uh, P is the load again from 1 to 120 kg whatever you have chosen so number is 1.854 P upon L square third comes noop again the we use a diamond pyramid structure here the geometry front view is this where the ratio L by B is 7.11 and B by T is 4.00 top view it looks like this where B is the uh, dimension along the smaller hypotenuse and L is the uh, length or dimension along the longer hypotenuse we use general 25 grams to 5 kg load and the, uh, the hardness number we denote is by H and K H for hardness K for loop it equal, is equal to 14.2 into P upon L square last is Rockwell in Rockwell we have three categories so in first category we, uh, there are total seven tests in Rockwell so we mention it Rockwell A test Rockwell C test Rockwell D test or Rockwell B F G test or Rockwell E test so we have to designate whether we are performing Rockwell A test or we are performing Rockwell C test and so on so there are total seven Rockwell tests in category A, C and D we use a diamond cone in category B, F, G we use a diameter 1 by 16 inch diameter steel ball and in category E we use a 1 by 8 inch diameter steel ball in case of A, C, D that is we use a diamond cone having the conical angle 120 degree and uh, the load for category A is 60 kg fixed for C 150 kg and for D 100 kg we denote it by HRA H means hardness R means Rockwell A means category so HRA number HRC number HRD number corresponding to the load 60 150 and 100 for A C and D respectively the formula is 100 minus 500 into T so T is the this dimension in mm remember this is in mm for category b f g we use a 1 by 16 inch diameter steel ball then we denote it by hrb hrf hrg and uh, the load is 160 150 kg respectively and for category e we use 1 by 8 inch diameter steel ball load is 100 kg fixed we denoted by hre and for b f g and e all four we have the formula 130 minus 500 t so generally we use brinell and rockwell so i hope all these four tests you have understood and please guys press the like button and do share this video and please subscribe and press the notification bell if you are new to this channel i would be seeing you in the next video till then guys if you have found the video helpful please press the like button please share this video and please subscribe and press the notification bell if you are new to this channel i would be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye Hello guys, welcome to my channel, press the subscribe button 
like this and then you have to tap the bell icon adjacent to the subscribe button like this and then you will get the notifications from my channel